This is me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. I had a comment this morning about uh, small RVs, and I just happened to be near a town that has some. And they have these in Burnett, Texas. And this is called a TAG here, T-A-G. And uh, the back, you see that lifts up, and it's got a kitchen in the back. Here, I'll show you. First, I'll let you look. On, this is a TAG, T-A-G. And we'll look on the inside. And uh, there's a little single bed. It's got a window in the front. And it's also got a window visor or screen or window blinds that pull down. Got a little cabinet up here. Got a nice vent fan. Uh, it's got a uh, AC microwave. Some cabinets. Uh, looks like a charging port there. For your cell phone and so forth and then on the other side is uh, like a CD player radio etc and these windows open out on the sides it's not a bad little unit actually and this lifts up the, the bottom lifts up for storage so uh, but anyway we'll look at them we're here and I'm here so we'll look at them and this is the cooking area in the back uh, it's got a little sink, as you can see, two burner stove, I'm not sure if, I'm sure that's propane, I'm guessing. And then there's a microwave oven. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. <laughs> These are pretty neat, aren't they? But again, these are all laid out about the same. I'm going to walk over to another unit. Yeah, here the, here's the little bumper sticker here. This will tell you all about it. This is a tag, uh, golittleguy.com, blah, blah, blah. Now, this one over here is really pretty neat, too, guys. This is called a MyPod by a little guy. It's just a bit little fiberglass unit. I don't see a propane tank. Uh, that doesn't mean it doesn't have one. Uh, I don't know what features it has. Anyway, I'm going to go around. It's just really pretty neat. I'll try to let you see on the inside here. This is not this is not perfect videography, but anyway, this is a what's called a MyPod by Little Guy. Okay, we're looking at the back. Okay, we're looking at it from the back, and uh, so we'll just go like we're going in. Okay, it's got a little single bed on the left. It'd be about the same as my Toyota Prius. And, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, it's got the windows on the side. And those little blinds look like they work pretty good. It's got a nice vent fan in the top. Uh, that looks like a little Jensen TV, air conditioner, radio, etc. And a little charging area. Looks like it's got some little cabinets there. And it's also got a big cable here for uh, electric, and I guess that's probably a 30 amp, I'm guessing. And it's got a fire extinguisher up the top. But anyway, it's pretty neat. It's, I mean, it's not very big. I mean, I'm going to guess that it's uh, the, the height is probably five feet total. And uh, that's it from the side. And it's called a, this one is a MyPod by Little Guy. And I would say that it's probably, I'm going to tell you exactly how long it is. From the very back to the front is, which hang on, one, two, I'm going to say, well, let's see. The unit itself is about eight feet long, the physical unit. And then you've got to add another three feet for the hitch. Okay, it's got a regular RV hookup in the front. And uh, I didn't see any propane on this one. It looks like this thing is set up for all electric. And uh, so you'd either have to have solar or a generator. And I don't know what the price is on them. I don't, I'll find out. Just hang with me. Here's another one here. A little different design. This is called a Little Guy 6 
six wide, whatever that is. This is a, a little guy six wide. Uh, it's got a big kitchen in the back. Whoa. And it's got a big it's got a big kitchen area in the back. And that one is it is wide, no doubt. Yeah, this one is very wide. I'd say that is a good six feet wide, which is about a foot and a half to two feet wider than the others. It's got some heavy duty tires on it. And the way the tires are set on the outside of the body gives you a lot more stability for pulling down the highway. It's got a door on each side. Okay, it's got a door like this right here on each side. And then this apparently just slides down, yeah, this does, and up. And you got a pretty large bed here. And uh, that's got a lot of cabinet storage space. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And here's a little colorful unit here. This is a tag. It's pretty colorful, isn't it? Can you see that okay? I hope the lighting's okay. But it's got a nice, this one here has a little different configuration. This one has a, <clears throat> this one has a little Norco refrigerator in addition to the two burner gas stove and a little sink in the back. Got some places to put stuff. And then this thing here apparently slides out. Well, I'm not sure how it does it, so I'm going to let it go. But, uh, but anyway, th that is a refrigerator. And uh, this would also, this is, I like the colors on this. Pretty neat. Tag. Interesting that the guy made a comment, and I just happened to stumble into this. But yeah, these are okay. I mean, you know, could you live in one? Uh, sure. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, yeah, you could be, you know. You, you know, you can get used to it after a while. Once you got it all laid out and set up, it'd be fine. It would be fine. This one's got a little AC, of course, radio, a little storage, TV. Uh, this one's got a propane tank in the front. Yeah, it's got a propane. One small propane and a big battery. So you could do, I'm sure the... But anyway, I don't know what the prices are on these, but I know they're not cheap. When I say cheap, I think they're around sixteen to eighteen thousand. They're really not. They're really not cheap. They're, all the insides on the tag, of course, are the same, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of options. Let me see if I can find somebody here <clears throat> that knows how much these are. Oh, here we go. Here's the prices over here. Got the whole list. Okay. I'll just let you look at this. Okay, here we go. If you can read that. That is the Little Guy Silver Shadow. $18,995. And then there's one with... I'll let you look at that. There's all the stuff it comes with. That's the one for $18,995, okay? That's the Silver Shadow Rough, and it comes with this. Options, doesn't show it. Okay. And this is uh, 2017 Shadow, la la la. And this one's $16,995. And the 2017 guy tag has uh, no options on it. And it's well found in one of the previous Now, these, I thought these were really neat right here. I like this one. The 2017 little guy my pod. That has some potential. Uh, it's, it says it weighs 500 pounds. Believe it or not, comes with a battery. Yeah, you, know, you set that up with a uh, solar panel, and I believe you got some. You couldn't run the AC, but for nine, ten thousand dollars, a cheaper 
new unit that you're going to find. Yeah, it says get out the motorcycle and go camping. Well, I don't have a motorcycle, but I got a Toyota Prius. So anyway, do you work here? Nah. Okay. Yeah, you're like, here, you want to check these out? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. I'm doing no, no, a no. video right quick. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll uh, back off on this a little bit. And uh, y'all have a good day. This is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, in Burnett, Texas. And I'm going to go back over and look at, I'm actually interested now in the, uh, the little guy my pod because I have a feeling that might work for old Rusty. You got me? Because I can pull that behind my Prius. It only weighs 500 pounds. Now that, sir, that's very, very interesting. So, how do I get to it? Let's see. <laughs> Pretty interesting, aren't they? Well, you know, this one only weighs 500 pounds. <laughs> you believe that? Yeah, I'm, I do videos for a RV channel on YouTube. And this is the first time I've seen this unit. And you know, the good thing about this, it is all electric, which is okay. And you could get a, a solar setup for this thing. And you could, you're in. You got it. You know, I, I go camp, I got a Toyota Prius. And I go camping in it. I've been gone for three or four months in it at a time. And, uh, the, well, the longest in one session was about 30 days. But uh, this would this would work. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, 500 pounds, hello. For me, it would work. Yeah. For you guys, it would be a... We have a big camper, and we're like, look well, at this little Well, that's thing. what I've got. I've got a 26-foot uh, Jayco J-Flight bunkhouse. Yeah. And uh, I, I full-time RV. This is my 23rd year. Uh -huh. Okay. And, uh, but for the past three years, I've gone camping in my Prius because it's so much easier. You know, I don't have to pull anything. I don't have to worry about fuel economy, you know what I mean? And it's just so much cheaper. And so what I'm looking for now is a way to ex have a little more creature comfort and to use my Prius. And, and, and actually, I, I didn't even know they had this. I didn't either. That's why we were just out running the road. Yeah. Stop and look at this thing. No kidding, man. But this thing's got an air conditioner. Yeah. Of course, you couldn't run that with solar. No. No. no, no. But, but, you well, with the little generator, you got it. I like the little the window uh, screen. Yeah. Oh, that's, isn't that wonderful? And I'll tell you what else that's got. On top, it's got that real neat little vent fan, the, the one that works really good. Anyway, guys, old Rusty is fixing to climb in this. I am climbing in, folks. I'm going to see if I can lay down on this bed, which leaves a little bit to be desired. <laughs> it's not exactly... Uh, actually, it reminds me of being in my Prius, so I guess I'd have to put my head down this way. And... Uh, Let's see, I know this video is going to look like shit, but, okay, it just barely fits. I'm six foot two, and there's my feet. Let me slip my sandals off. And uh, there's my feet. Let me get all the way comfortable here, like I, had a, like I was fixing to go to bed. It would, it would work. I mean, my head is, it, my feet are touching one end. And my head is touching the other, and I'm six feet two. And could I go camping in this for an extended period of time? Uh, probably. Probably. If, 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 if I could figure out how to operate these windows things here. I'm sure it's something real simple. But, oh, I see. Oh, okay, you just do it like that. Oh, these windows don't open out. The side windows do not open. That's a, that's a downer. Uh, this thing, so your only real vent is, uh, is the roof vent. That could be a little bit of a drawback. A little bit of a drawback. So, having said that, I'm in a my pod <laughs> in the middle of Burnett, Texas, and uh, 
not bad. Not, I mean, you're really, and of course it's all electric, so, uh, you know, you'd have to, uh, it's got some outline, it's got a porch light, if you can see that. It's got a porch light and a ceiling light. And, and the, since this is fiber, the reason they put, they put carpet, and I'm really doing this around, huh? The reason they put carpet on the walls of these things is, uh, to, is to reduce the condensation and some other things. Because whenever you have a totally fiberglass unit, uh, it, and it also uh, adds a little sound deadener. But uh, what I, only downside I can see to this right now is the side windows don't open. But anyway, I just climbed in and out of it, so I can do that. And uh, this door, I guess it hinges. I wonder if they have a white one. But anyway, it may work, and I'll have to check. But 500 pounds, folks, that would work. You can pull that with a Toyota Prius for 10,000 bucks. Probably get it a little cheaper, maybe. But anyway, having said all that, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. And right now I've got the camera on a MyPod by Little Guy. And it's about, it's $9,995 as it sits right there with an AC TV, an air conditioner, television. Uh, it's got a little sound system, looks like CD player. Uh, I believe it's all electric. I'd almost, I'm almost positive. It has a it has a roof vent, but the side windows don't open. They do, however, have nice little shades on them. And uh, so the only thing you don't have is a place to poop, shower, or whatever. And you know what? You can actually, there's a little portable toilet you can pick up for like, I don't know, 100 bucks. And uh, so anyway, this is pretty neat. So... Uh, it's got a, it's got a, a hook up here. This is for the TV or cable, and then this is for your 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 electric when you're in an area. Uh, but actually, what you could do there, you could have a, you could take your little generator, and that would probably work. But you don't have any propane, and you, so you don't have a refrigerator. You don't have some things that you might need. But again, all that can be worked out. But having said that, that's a pretty interesting little product. I just wish I wish they had it in another color besides black. Anyway, you guys enjoy your day. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye.